This week, updates coming soon to Inbox, Billing and Payments, Advertising Intelligence, and more. Hey everyone, Kaz Lim here, Program Lead for APIs, Integrations, and Automations at Vendasta. I'm here to share with you some incredibly valuable updates coming very soon. To kick things off with a bang, three new channel integrations are coming to Inbox. Email, website forms, and Instagram are all coming within the next month. When a lead arrives in Inbox via the web chat widget on your website or another source, they might provide their email address as a way to get back to them. Your team will soon be able to send and receive emails from a shared email address right from Inbox, rather than having to resume the conversation in a new location. Another lead source coming to Inbox is Forms. The web forms you'll soon be able to create and customize in Business App and embed right on a website to capture leads. Submissions will soon display as new conversations in Inbox, so you can respond right away by email or SMS. Messages on Instagram will be able to come right into Inbox soon too. Joining those from Facebook, Google Business, AI Web Chat, SMS, and lead sources listed above to ensure your clients never miss a lead, nor an opportunity to provide a great customer experience. All of these additions promise to further centralize communication and lead management for your team and for your local business clients. Email and form should be available for integration by the end of April, with Instagram estimated to be ready for integration with Inbox and Business App by the end of May. There are also two new integrations coming to advertising intelligence, TikTok ads and Amazon ads. Last week, we added TikTok as a network you can post to from social marketing. Soon, you'll be able to report on TikTok ads and Amazon ad campaigns from advertising intelligence to help you improve return on ad spend and turn marketing data into an opportunity for your clients. By connecting accounts, setting objectives, and viewing campaign results, you'll soon be able to add even more performance insights to the comprehensive picture you get from the multi-channel reporting dashboard offered by Advertising Intelligence. TikTok and Amazon ads join a growing list of channel integrations that includes Google ads, Facebook ads, Microsoft ads, LinkedIn ads, local ads, Google Ad Manager, and Simplify ads. Both of these are coming at the end of April. I know those of you who use Vendasa Payments will be excited for this next one. Two new payment methods are coming to Vendasta Payments to help you get paid in a way that's more convenient and possibly more cost-effective for both you and your clients. Currently, your clients can pay invoices by debit or credit card. Soon, you'll be able to collect payments via ACH or pre-authorized debit. Personalize the payment experience for each of your clients if you so choose by setting their invoices to be payable by credit or debit card only, by ACH or pre-authorized debit only, or any of the above. When your clients receive their invoices, they'll see their options you've set for them and be guided through providing the required information. When reviewing all your payments, these little icons will make it easy to see the payment methods for each transaction. These updates are part of our mission to provide you with localized payment options based on where you and your clients are located. These two new payment methods are expected to come available at the end of the month with more improvements expected later on, so stay tuned. Our team has been expanding the capabilities of the partner CRM in recent months. Currently, your salespeople must be granted admin access in order to use all new functionality, but soon they'll be able to log into Partner Center as a salesperson with their market assignments respected. This means they have access to everything they need in the CRM to build customer relationships and close deals, and nothing they don't. If you follow these videos, you'll know the team is tidying up Task Manager to provide you with an uncluttered view of the projects and tasks to be fulfilled. Last week, the Get Started page was added to help newcomers understand how to use this powerful fulfillment tool. The page describes the basics of Task Manager with links to key pages. Other improvements you can expect to roll in throughout April and May include removal of the My Work section, which will instead be directly incorporated into the account, task, and project tables. Filters, settings, and task creation will also be reorganized, and more guidance will appear when you first start using custom fields. Spring cleaning is happening in Vendor Center too. The work orders table is being upgraded to support sales orders features, so that the latter can be removed. Instead of having to monitor two tables, all the information you need to manage orders will be centralized in the work orders table. The tabs along the top make it easy to get a focused view of orders at various stages of progress. This streamlined view should come available sometime in May. So many exciting updates on the way. We'll be back next week with new releases. Until next time.